welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check The Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all know that I absolutely love a good drama and it is that time finally because it's been gone for so long. Games People Play is back. It premieres October 19th on BET, so check your local listings for the time. Anywho, in the house today, I have some of the cast members, Karen Obalone, Parker McKenna Posey, and Jackie Long. They're joining me to talk about what we can expect on season two and more. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss today's show. Hi, Karen, Parker, and Jackie. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Lovely. Good, are How are you? you? I'm doing great. I'm excited about games people play. And I know, I just know one of y'all is going to tell me what I want to know. Who is Vanessa's baby daddy? <laughs> oh, uh, it's actually Jackie Long. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go have to watch tomorrow to find out. Hey, we're uh, way too close for you to be asking those types of questions. Yeah, it's only a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay well we'll 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 like ease off a little bit and i'll try to try this what can you tell me about the second season what we can expect and let's um let's start with you jackie two words to explain maybe how the season's gonna go loyalty lies okay what about you parker um since we can't cuss i'm just gonna say crazy af AF is like one oh, word. Okay. Crazy okay. F. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Karen? Secrets and passion. Oh. <laughs> so I also need to know, is it really this messy in LA? Because I'm wanting to move to LA, but I yes. just was wondering, is it really yes. like this? <laughs> yes, it's even messier. <laughs> yeah, messier than this. Oh, he doesn't allow us to show everything we need to, but it's very We need messy. a couple seasons to show right. the real mess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so um, we'll start with you, Parker. How has your character evolved this season? Oh, it has just been my favorite season. Season one was great, of course. I feel like I got to do so many crazy things, but this season was my favorite because you'll really see my character just come into her own and she kind of drops her facade and isn't, you know, trying to carry that golden goddess LA name around forever. And she realizes, you know what? I'm Layla James and she's just as bomb and I'm gonna show up as Layla James. And I can't wait for you guys to see that. Oh, that's good. Cause I was wanting her to, you know, drop that and let us see who she is. So that's good to know. What about you, Karen? What can we expect from Nia? Um, I think you can expect more vulnerability from Nia. Um, you're gonna see how life kind of tests her. She goes through a lot of terrible moments, I would say. You'll, you'll see pretty soon what I'm talking about. Um, she's There's a lot of fear in this season. Um, she's grieving in this season. Um, so you kind of get to see how kind of life beats her up and how she gets back up or at least attempts to get back up. So there's a lot heavier for Nia this season. And I think a lot of people can relate to some of the things that she's going to going through. So I'm excited for people to see, to see her and how she how she handles everything. Oh, the life of a journalist. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jackie? How about your character? You basically get to see a boy turn into a man. And yeah, I think you, you know, you see the boy turn into a man, no more mama's boy, no more being a flunky, no more not knowing what he want to do with his life, you know, he find he find he finds something that makes him happy this season, and um, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of drama there, of course, but not as much. It's yeah, yeah, some big drama in there. But once he finds out the drama, he's more laid back. It, it, it helps him find out that it's time to really be a man and be somebody in life instead of just being a nobody. And yeah, that's what you're gonna get out of Kareem this year. Okay. All right. So my last question, I know you guys have seen this on social media, the, the red flags, right? Everybody's doing these red flags to look out for. <laughs> yes. So 
what is one red flag that you would give someone advice on what to look for? And it, it, you could be coming from the perspective of your character or from your real life self. Um, we'll start with you, Jackie. A red flag? Yeah. Cause you know, people play games, games, people play. <laughs> uh, hey, all I can, <clears throat> uh, come back to me. Come back to me. Red flag on deck. Okay. I got a yeah. I don't know. It's so. It's a lot of red flags in this show. He said there's too many. It's a lie. I just. It's just what the what the title says. That's what the red flags is. All of that loyalty, love, and lies. <laughs> it's a lot of red flags okay. in there. If that's what you, what the answer you're looking for. Okay. What about you, Karen? Um, I would say. Uh, you you know, I'll give a red flag for me and Nia. I think Nia, a red flag would probably be uh, moving in too fast or moving too fast or um, I feel like a red flag is when the guy keep asking like, what are we? Or when are we gonna have Ooh. a baby? Or, you know, <laughs> stupid questions like that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it, it is, <laughs> that's, just, that's Nia. Uh, for me, I think a red flag is when a guy gets um, upset when you're upset with him. Like when a guy gets mad or whoever your person is gets mad that you're mad. That always annoys me because I don't get mad very often. So if I am upset and then they're like, well, you should be upset. Now I'm upset. Now I'm really upset. Now you're really upset. Right, right. <laughs> Gotcha. Gaslighting. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> what about you? What about you, Parker? <laughs> a red flag for me um, would be how a man treats his family or his mom. Like I'm always, if, if he has a bad relationship with his family or his mom, that's, that's a red flag for me or his sisters. Like I, I love to see, you know, my man, or that was something that made me fall in love with my guy was just seeing him around his family. So I feel like if I saw that they didn't really have like a good bond or he was disrespectful to them, then that would have definitely been a red flag for me. And of course, lying and playing games. I just, I can't, <laughs> ironic, we're on a show called Games <clears throat> Play, but I just, I can't do the games and the lies. And, you know, I just feel like we're all adults here. So let's just right. be honest. So that would definitely, definitely be a red Red flag for me. Oh, and someone who's controlling. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they're controlling from day one, from date one, oh, they gotta go. They gotta go. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Can deal with it. <laughs> well. I <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to see what other red flags, as Jackie said, pops up this season. Games People Play kicks off on October 19th on BET at 10 o'clock. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.